Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use ChatGPT for multiple choice questions. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in ChatGPT, click on the sign up option. And from here, you can continue signing in using your Google account, your Microsoft account, your Apple. And by following the on-screen instructions, you're good to go. Now, if you plan to use ChatGPT for multiple choice questions, you can quickly evaluate and provide insights on each option, saving time compared to researching each choice individually. That means ChatGPT has been trained on a vast amount of information, enabling it to consider a wide range of factors when evaluating each option. You can receive immediate feedback and analysis on multiple choice question options, allowing for faster decision making. I use G ChatGPT a lot because it offers unique perspectives and considerations that may not have been initially apparent. All right. And of course, ChatGPT is always available anytime and anywhere you can use it on your mobile device your laptop your computer making it very convenient to use for quick assessments now how do we do it first off now once i'm here i'm gonna randomly put some message here for chat gpt to run run some um, answers right and as you can see these are the automation that i can use to make my life easier Right, because as you can see, you can use Chat GPT's insights to guide your decision making process. So you consider the reasoning behind each choice provided by Chat GPT. Now, in your case, what I would do in this instance is I'm gonna copy everything. You don't have to worry because Chat GPT is you're not gonna be able to copy the numbers. As you can see, it is only highlighting the text. All right. Now, control copy that and put it into somewhere safe like a document or a Microsoft Word. Now I'm here, I'm going to paste everything that I get from uh, the, uh, of course, it, it'll, it'll copy the uh, the highlight text. As you can see, there's a background um, highlight. For you to be able to remove that, you just have to put it in a word pad first. Okay, I'm here in the word pad and I'm going to copy that again and I'm going to head over here. I'm just going to undo what I did and paste the new one right here but let's try a series um questions so that you can follow it easily let's go back to our chat gpt again okay so here i'm gonna type again okay so let's start from this um idea all right Now, from here, I will um, copy the uh, questions, the three multiple questions for now, right? And I'm going to paste it on the word pad. Now, from here, I'm going to paste it. Now, I'm going to delete everything that I had. And just enter the new one. Uh, I'm going to make uh, the uh, font a little bit smaller because it's, um, it's a little bit big. Let's say um ten or twenty. All right, let's try for ten. All right, let's 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 start from here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the space in between so we can categorize the three multiple questions. Now, once you are finalized with this, you can again go back to your Chat GPT and run another set of multiple choice questions all right so it's up to you but these are the foundation or the basic understanding on how you could generate multiple choice questions now from here you can use now after creating my multiple choice questions i'm gonna head over to canva one of the best platforms for you to create a presentation or a demonstration about the quiz say for example you're an educator and you wanted to be just to be a part of your lesson plan go here and create a blank presentation now I'm gonna insert um an image here. Now in C it's here to make it more dynamic, okay? And then I'm gonna rename this one. 
and what I would do here is to create another page wherein I am going to okay duplicate this um image I'm gonna delete this one and duplicate this one and I'm going to elements and I'm going to use this one to hide the text right here and try to now now this seemed like uh, nothing um happened now i'm gonna put some text here uh, i'm gonna use uh the uh, default text or the uh the simplest text okay let me just um search for it there you go and from here i'm gonna ungroup this one because i'm don't need this part what i need is gonna be this one so i'm gonna put the now i'm gonna head over to the question number one which is gonna be the uh what we generated in chat gpt and head over to canva again and from here i'm gonna paste it right of course i am going to make it a little bit bigger to make it more visible and yeah i'm gonna change the color again so here's our question i'm gonna remove the uh this one right here okay there you go and i'm gonna put some elements right now maybe um this one right here i'm gonna make it i'm gonna change the elements to a different um color maybe um let's put it white right the color is white and what i would do is uh i'm gonna paste uh, the four options here and put the answers from the generated questions that we had in chat gpt all right and obviously what will happen is okay so i'm gonna create a new text right here and i'm gonna do the same thing earlier okay so these are gonna be the answers okay i'm gonna and from here okay so and then i'm gonna animate all this this one i'm gonna animate this um right this i'm gonna make it animate us right and this one i'm gonna make this um this into this one all right hold on let me just uh, check the uh typewriter effect and then let's try to see it in the presentation okay so this is going to be our generated multiple questions that we had from chat gpt and i used canva as another platform to make it creative but essentially that's how you generate chat gpt for multiple choice questions again it's up to you how to how you play around with it but basically that's the workaround that we can share in today's video thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one